Here's how to calculate a Kaplan-Meier estimator or survival function. We'll start with a set of event data listed in sorted order, increasing times, and include the censored observations, the one with the plus signs. The first thing we'll do is we'll tabulate all of these with an event time starting at zero and then listing all the event times including the censored items exactly once. So at time two, we'll have an event, nothing censored. At time three, no event, but one censored. At time six, two events, none censored. At seven, one event, none censored. At 10, no events, but one censored. At 15, two events, none censored. At 16, one event, none censored. At 27, one event, none censored. At 30, one event, none censored. And finally at 32, one event, and none censored. Okay. Now we'll start with the risk set. So the risk set starts with all the subjects before they failed. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the risk set starts at twelve. And then at time two, one of them fails. All right. Um, so again, the risk set is till twelve. Now what we're going to do is calculate uh, the factor, basically the survivor factor at time two. So we're going to take one minus one minus one over twelve. All right, and that'll be zero point nine one seven. And then we're going to multiply by that by the one. So multiply this way and get 0 0.917. Okay. Then we'll subtract. So 1 failed out of 12. The new risk set is 11. Now at time 3, we see that we have a censored item, but no failure. So the factor is just 1.0. We multiply again and we get 0 0.917, all right? But notice the risk set has gone down, all right? So we've censored one out, and so new the risk set is 10, all right? At time six, we have two failures. So one minus two over 10 is 0 0.800. We'll do the multiplication and get 0 0.733. Okay, that's time six. Uh, at time seven, we've got one, uh, so pardon me, take two from 10 to leave eight for the risk set. And now at time seven, we have one failure. So seven out of eight, 0 0.875. Again, we'll do the multiplication and get 0 0.642. One from eight leaves seven. Okay, at time 10, we have one censored item, no failures. So this is 1.00 here, 0 0.642 here, when we do the multiplication. And the risk set now is six. Now we have two failures at time 15. So one minus two over six, give me 0 0.667. We'll do our multiplication and get 0 0.428. Two from six leaves four in the risk set. We've got one failure, so 75% survive. Again, do our multiplication, 0 0.321. One from four leaves three. Two thirds survive, so 0 0.677, Do our multiplication again, 0 0.214. One from three is two. One survives, one does not, so 0 0.500. Do the multiplication, 0 0.107. And subtract one, one from one, leave zero.
and our survival function goes to zero. That's all there is.